Hello and welcome back to our channel Pasca Pen Hen. Today we are filming from the land because we are bringing you the video of the Polly House. The Polly House is just behind me here and we will talk you through how we created the structure, what we're going to be putting in the structure and you will also be seeing us putting the plastics on which we're doing today. So here we have Sam and Dean getting everything ready to be measured out and cut to create the frames. As you can see, we are doing this in the courtyard. The voices have been sped up. We just thought this was a funny little way to add to this video today. So enjoy the best trick monk impersonation they could give. Can you hold that for me, please? Stop. Stop. Okay. So the markings out have all been made on all of the timber frames. They were all made up in the courtyard just because it was the only place with a flatter ground. Sam and Dean are now moving it across so that we can put them in place ready to go up. There is a total of 20 timber frames that we needed to move across, but before we did all that, we had to dig out the holes. With 20 timber frames, you can imagine, maybe you can't imagine how many holes we needed. I believe it was a total of 60 we needed to dig out. The far end ones needed to be deeper, but the in-between ones for the doorways were a little bit shallower. If you can see during this footage, you can see that we are wearing our coats. There's quite a few layers on Teresa and myself because it was very, very cold this day, very, very windy. So as the boys are putting up the frames now, we're putting the supporting beams in. Once that's all marked out and ready to go, we were making sure everything was level. Maybe if the leveler would stay on, it might have been a bit more of a success. Seeing that, before I go on to the next clip, just know that this isn't our day jobs. We've never done anything like this before, as Dean will demonstrate now. Stop it! Stop it! Oh. I can't do that. Hold on. And I'm sure playing this clip will get me the same face once he watches this back. We are all having a lot of fun building or had a lot of fun building the poly house. It was something new for all of us. We'd never done it before. We didn't think it was going to be, or I didn't think it was going to be as big as it actually is, but it has been real fun making it. If you do have any questions about certain stuff that we've done, why we've done it the way we have, leave a comment below and we will get back to you about it. If you were wondering, the polytunnel is 29 meters long, 3.7 meters wide. We will be just using normal polytunnel plastic on this. The frames that we have used are tannalized, so it should last about 20 years, maybe a bit longer. Follow us and you'll find out. Like I mentioned before, we were putting concrete on the two far sides of the poly house when they were put into the ground. We did this so that the moisture can seep out of the timber instead of being held in a concrete pocket, just to make the structure a little bit more secure. So here we are just about to finish the last frame going up towards the end of the poly house. 
that will conclude the main structure being made and what we need to do next is to fill the beds inside. We did decide to do it before we put the plastics on just to make manoeuvring it a little bit easier, getting the wheelbarrows in and out. So here's Dean. Dean is currently putting down the manure and I am following past with putting down the compost on top. We were quite excited to get this done so that we could get the plastics on. So this video is in a two part. The second part will be coming to you on Saturday with the plastics going on the poly house. Don't forget if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, like the video and as mentioned before if you've got any questions pop them down below. So we have just finished composting the last two beds and we are getting ready to put the plastic on. Okay, so just to give you a view of what the poly house looks like without the plastics on and the sheer size of the thing. <laughs> Definitely got enough room to plant a few things. Bear in mind we do also have all of the no dig beds here as well which i will be doing and talking about in a different video so with the constructing of the actual poly house we made the frames outside in the yard and then brought them all in they are cemented or using post cemented into the ground down below and then we've put supporting beams up and around as you can see because it is very windy down here if you saw my first video you can hear just how windy it actually was the first time i filmed and then obviously as we go in we're going to be planting stuff in here we've got like the walk path so that we're not traipsing mud and stuff and obviously it's just gonna be really really nice and warm to grow stuff because we live in wales it's wet it's cold uk weather not always best to uh, grow stuff in. So poly, poly tunnels, poly houses, always good. Can't go wrong with them. So as I said, here is the compost on top of the manure levels. Shelving units to the sides. More big beds. And then this will take us to the end. Then we put in doors in and then over there we will be having something that we will be bringing to you soon. If you know, you know, but if you don't know, stay tuned. 